At Trans Edifan, the Lord speaks of peace to his people and his holy ones and to those who turn to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, brothers and sisters, and uh, especially welcome our school students, and I hope you all had a very happy Thanksgiving with your family. But we gather together still, uh, we know that God is a source of every blessing. We come to worship Him. So let us uh, first of all come to our loving God, knowing that we have made a mistake and we have sinned. And so we ask God for forgiveness. So prepare our heart to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that are striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion. They may receive in greater measure the healing remedy your kindness bestows. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Daniel. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon said and came to lay siege on Jerusalem. The Lord handed over to him Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and some of the vessels of the temple of God. He carried them off to the land of Shinar and placed the vessels in the temple treasury of his God. The king told Ashpenaz, his chief chamberlain, to bring in some of the children of Israel, royal blood, and of the nobility, young men without any defect, handsome, intelligent and wise, quick to learn, and prudent in judgment, such as could take their place in the king's palace. They were to be taught the language and literature of the Chaldeans. After three years training, they were to enter the king's service. The king allotted them a daily portion of food and wine from the royal table. Among these men, among these were men of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. But Daniel was resolved not to defile himself with the king's food or wine. 
So he begged the chief chamberlain to spare him this defilement. Though God had given Daniel the favor of, and sympathy of the chief chamberlain, he nevertheless said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king. It is he who allotted your food to drink. If he sees that you look wretched by comparison with the other young men of your age, you will endanger my life with the king. Then Daniel said to the steward whom the chief chamberlain had put in charge of Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, please test your servants for 10 days. Give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then see how you look in comparison with the other young men who eat from the royal table and treat your servants according to what you see. He acceded to this request and attested them for 10 days. After 10 days, they looked healthier and better fed than any of the young men who ate from the royal table. So the steward continued to take away the food and wine they were to receive and gave them vegetables. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and proficiency in all literature and science, and to Daniel, the understanding of all visions and dreams. At the end of the time the king had specified for their preparation, the chief chamberlain brought them before Nebuchadnezzar. When the king had spoken with all of them, none was found equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, and so they entered the king's service. In any question of wisdom or prudence which the king put to them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in the kingdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths of your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the framing of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the song of man will come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offering into the treasury. And he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she 
from her poverty have offered her whole livelihood. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Did you enjoy Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, a lot of turkey. <laughs> so, some of you come to Sunday Mass, right? Yeah, and after the prayer of the faithful, and that's a moment that uh, you can you see ushers with a uh, basket going around, collect money, right? So, have you put uh, something into the basket? Yes, probably you saw your family and a lot of people putting collections into the basket. So what do we th use that <laughs> collection? Do you know? We collect the money from people who worship God. And what do we use that money for? Have the light. We have the light. We open the church, right? And sometimes uh, we collect for the poor. Yeah, especially those people who are in need. So people generously supporting the church. That's why we still have priests working here and we still have the door open so that people can come to church and to worship. So today, in today's gospel, we hear that uh, in a synagogue, they have a treasury that is uh, probably a donation box, right? at the entrance hall in the, in the synagogue. And uh, Jesus was in the synagogue. Uh, he saw uh, people are putting money into the treasury. Huh? And he, he saw a very, very wealthy um, person come and he put something into the box, probably a lot. Huh? But he also saw a widow came forward. And as you know, at that time, widows uh, do not really have a support from the community or they are very poor, probably the poorest among the poor. Huh? So she also came and she put a two small coin compared to the wealthy person who put in uh, the money he put in. It's very small, very little. Huh? But uh, Jesus praised this widow and uh, he says she put Oh, her whole livelihood into the you know, into the collection. So we can imagine, huh? So you, um, what is what was in her mind when she doing that? Can we imagine what he was, what what was in her thought when she put everything, two small coin, into the collection? What he was, what he was thinking. Anybody, you see your imagination. What her, what was her thought when she did that? Hey, come on. No answer. What she was thinking. Anybody here? She donated everything she has to God. What she was doing? What was her thought? She was thinking that if she gives everything to God, God will give her like love and a lot of stuff back to her. I love that answer so much. And uh, she totally put herself, uh, her trust in God. Huh? She says everything is from God. I. Even I don't know what I'm going to eat this evening, but I trust that God will provide, right? Only then she can donate. If she doesn't trust God, she wouldn't do that, right? If she doesn't acknowledge that everything is from God, she will not donate. If she's thinking that I'm going to hungry and to die tonight, and uh, she wouldn't do that because she trusts in God, right? Anything else? What her motivation inside of her? What else? What's, what's her motivation? 
and probably she's thinking, oh, this money can use for those、uh, who even poor their need. Probably for those people who do not even have two coins, and、uh, I will help、uh, those people even poor poorer than me. So then she put the money to help、uh, those who are poor, and probably also、uh, she is thinking, and、uh, especially she has so much love for God, and then this place <laughs> need to be open for people. Uh, to come and worship God, and to really develop a, a loving relationship with God, and she says, "I will donate the money to upkeeping this place, so that、uh, people can come and worship God." So, you know, in Jesus,、uh, a lot of、uh, times, Jesus in the Gospel speaking about this.、Uh, yesterday, even Jesus in the parable of the、uh, Last Judgment. And she says,、uh, he says, Jesus says, whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you are doing to me. And、uh, Jesus encourages us to really make peace and、uh, make a just society, a、uh, peaceful and just society, so that <laughs> we can help those people who have less than us. And、uh, a lot of times, why do you think people? Slow or hesitate, and to really helping people donate to the church. What's the reason that people、uh, hesitate or do not、uh, want to donate?、Uh, even those are wealthy people. What's the reason? <laughs> no answer. Still have turkey in stomach. Yes. What's the reason, people? Selfish. Selfish. Greed. And、uh, some people thinking, if I have enough, I will donate. If my family have enough, I will donate. Do you think they will ever have enough? If they are greedy. If they are greedy, they will never have enough.、Uh, you can see a lot of billionaires or millionaires, and、uh, even they have so much, they thinking it's not enough. It's not enough for my family. I won't donate until I got like now. I have one million, but until I get two million, I will donate. But when they get two million, they will never do it, right? So, <laughs> loving,、uh, especially in donation. Uh, to helping the poor, it's not really how much you have.、Uh, is that right? Yeah. And、uh, the little you have, you can still help. Can help help those people who are poor, as it really coming from the heart, right? Heart of love, heart of love of God, heart love love of the poor. So we can see, and、uh, we live in a very unjust society. And、uh, many people are very, very healthy, ah,、huh? very, very wealthy, but、uh, other people live on the street. They are very hungry. They have to starve. So that's why Jesus came. He want to build a just society. Everybody have doesn't have to be go hunger. And <laughs> that's why Jesus encourage、uh, his disciples and all of us to take care. It's not fair, right? And we all living in this world, and we all、uh, we are all blessed by God with resources.、Uh, some people, because of the system or because of other things, can become rich. That's a blessing from God, right? But also other people have a right and、uh, to live in this world and not be starving, right? So that's why Jesus, <laughs> I encourage all of us to have a loving heart and、uh, to care for the poor. So this widow、uh, in today's gospel demonstrate that、uh, even we are poor, we can help people.、Uh, even the small coins、uh, we can place in the treasury、uh, to help the church and、uh, help those people who are poor. So we always have to have that kind of、uh, attitude in, inside our heart. 
and be love, be a loving person rather than cold. Uh, a lot of people become very cold. They don't see anything. Uh, they just concentrate on themselves. Uh, so <coughs> Jesus praised this uh, widow uh, because she has a love for God uh, and she has a love for those people who are poor. Uh, she have a trusting heart, always trusting the Lord. Uh, lo the Lord will provide. And she's thinking that even these two small coins, I'm very poor, even these two small coins are blessing from God. Uh, she acknowledged that. So if, <laughs> imagine, everybody live with that, like that, and the healthy pe uh, wealthy people and poor people all live like that, and we don't have a problem. Uh, we have less problem in this world. So let us uh, come and ask God and uh, see a lot of people still suffering in this world, war, <laughs> injustice, uh, poverty, and uh, everything else in this world is still going on. So we shall have a compassionate heart for them, always care for the poor, and in order to receive God's blessings, uh, God will, everything is from God, uh, every blessing, every grace is from God. So if we trust in Him, and God will provide, and that's uh, the uh, truth, and that's a living truth, and uh, uh, approved truth. Uh, God always bless those people who have a good heart. So let us uh, offer this mass and pray for those poor, especially ask God to uh, bless us uh, a loving heart, uh, always to reach out to those people who in need. Uh, we are in school. We we still students, we don't earn money, but we can in a way uh, also express that uh, compassionate heart to our class classmates who are in need and to those people around us in need. Uh, we ask God's special blessings. Okay, now I invite uh, our students who have prepared the petitions, please come forward, we offer prayers. Our loving God in heaven is the source of every blessing and uh, every grace. And we come to him, offer our prayers. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we pray in thanksgiving for all you bless our lives with. We pray in thanksgiving for our families, our friends, and our teachers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for Father Dan, Father Peter, and all our parish leaders who work so hard, sharing their faith with our parish community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. <clears throat> Lord, we pray that this year's theme, the gospel value of mercy, will continue to inspire us to be loving and caring members of our St. Anne's family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for peace in Israel and, Pakistan, and Palestine. We pray that the conflict can be resolved without the loss of any more lives. We pray for all those who have died or those that have lost loved ones and for those trying to survive. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for peace in the peace in Ukraine and an end to the war that has been going on for so long. We pray for the Ukrainian people that God will help them to stay strong and for a peaceful resolution to the conflict soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for the oh, Lord, we pray for peace in the world. We pray that people will not hate others over past histories and allow forgiveness and love to sow the seeds of change in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, 
We pray for the eighth graders who are finishing their high school applications. We pray that they will not feel overwhelmed and that they will finish their applications on time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also offer our Mass for our Mass in Passion. Uh, we pray for Andy Kanji, Dong, and Bill Torres, and Mary Ann Sinclair. We pray to the Lord. Grace loving God, we offer all our prayers to you. I may you hear and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which, at your bidding, we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts, we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied, he emptied Himself and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, <coughs> remember Andy, Don, B, and Marianne, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> um. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <laughs> Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in the divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. I want to take this opportunity to thank readers, altar servers, all those people who have participated. Thank you so much. It's a great pleasure to celebrate Mass with you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace.